thrown into the- Hit that! No! Go! No! My back! Oh, my back! Drunk, causing an accident, and attacking police. See what happens to this female driver. The one claims innocence while being arrested. Is she telling the truth? Accused police of abuse of power and unlawful arrest. What made this girl arrest so chaotic? Let's start with the first incident. On October 2, 2022, Police officers were dispatched to the scene of an accident where a female driver had crashed into a parked car. When approaching the female driver, officers noticed signs that she might be intoxicated. Which car is yours? This is my car. This is the What happened? I'm not going to lie. Sir, you're going to have to take me to jail. That's what I'm looking at. 30 for one. What do you mean? What happened? 30. I'm, I'm, I'm you can her. Are you the only one driving? Yes, but I haven't been driving this car because, but because it's my drive, and this, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little drunk. Was anybody in this car? I haven't been drunk. Was anybody in this car? I didn't drink. I didn't drink when I crashed. Where's your license? You got a license on you? I do. You don't need no paramedics or anything? No. But I ain't no one with it. I just. Go ahead, grab your license. Switch 32. Uh, I'm gonna definitely need uh, two toes. Hope to save one damage. However, when asked to show her driver's license and cooperate with the investigation, Sir, can I, tell you? I don't care if Do I you have your license? Can you please tell no. me? Do you have your license? I have my license. license. I'm not trying to touch you. Don't. No, I'm not trying to touch you. It's like it's not like you're attractive or anything, anyways. I'm saying, I'm saying but like in the car. Okay, what's your name? Adrian Sparza. Can you please? She became uncooperative. Her behavior turned aggressive, and she even assaulted the police officer. Go over there. And no, because I know that. I know how this works. I don't want you to. I don't no, want I don't need to. No. Go. No. Hit that. no. Go. no. Back. Oh, no. No. You're behind your back. You are a piece of shit. You're just behind your back. The situation escalated as bystanders began to gather and intervene forcing the officers to call for backup. Stay back. Stay back. You're a piece of shit! You're a piece of shit! No, you're a piece of shit! 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 You're a piece of no, I don't have to tell you nothing. Go over there. Go over there, or no, when the right. officer comes, you're going to no, be arrested. They're, no, they're right. They're right. No, Go over me. to the sidewalk, because you're impeding in my investigation. Go over no, there. No, trust me, you're right. They're, they're in the right, they're in the right. Trust me. I'm in the right. Trust me, they're in the right. Finally, the authorities managed to control the situation and arrest the woman. She was charged with assaulting a police officer and driving under the influence. Right now, you're being placed in custody for ag assault and suspicion of DUI. 
This incident serves as a warning about the severe consequences of drunk driving. Do you think the police response was appropriate in this situation? Share your thoughts with everyone. Law enforcement officers faced a challenging situation involving a stolen vehicle. On December 28, 2022, while on patrol, police identified a black car suspected of being stolen. Open the door! Open the... Op Open the door! No! No! No, do not grab anything! No! Officers repeatedly ordered the woman to open the car door and step out, suspecting her involvement in the theft. Open the window! Open it! Open it! Come out. The vehicle's stolen. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Open the open the door. It's a stolen vehicle. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. I really don't want to break this poor person's window. <laughs> but I didn't actually even realize she was back there until I walked up to purse is in the passenger. I'm sure the driver's in the gas station. I just, I wasn't gonna go. I saw her here. I'm like, I'm not leaving her. What's your name? You're in a stolen car. Well, I, I'm telling you that now. You're in a stolen car. Open the door. I really don't want to break this window of, but she's refusing to come out. Come out. I'll let you talk to her. Despite urgent and repeated demands, she refused to comply, forcing police to threaten to break the window to get her out. We'll work on that. We'll figure that out. All right. If you cooperate, you'll probably just go home. You'll get to go. You're not cooperating. You're not stepping outside the car. You need to step outside the car. We're, we're going to break the window and drag you out, and then you will definitely go to jail. All right? During the interaction, officers attempted to verify the vehicle's registration and confirmed it was indeed stolen. The woman inside continuously resisted police efforts to resolve the situation peacefully. Right now, you're obstructing our investigation, okay? So you step out now, or you'll go to jail for obstructing official business, all right? I've given you ample opportunity to step out of the car, and you're not... I've asked you several times, this officer's asked you several times to step out of the car. If you don't do it, we're going to break out the window, and you're going to go to jail 100%, and you're going to get thrown on the ground, okay? So either you step out willingly, or we come in and get you. Step out! I'm telling you, get out of the car. You got... Ten seconds, we'll tell him to bust out the window and we'll drag you out. I've been talking to you for five minutes. I've given you ample opportunity. Step out of the car. Out of the car now. After numerous requests and threats, the woman finally exited the car. She was immediately arrested for obstructing justice and could face additional charges related to the stolen vehicle. Step over there. Okay, it's a lighter. So okay, no. I got you. Okay, just... can I please just get out without being arrested? No, no you can't. Because I haven't done anything. Get on my nerves. Stop. Step All you gotta do is get out of the car. But I have a You're in a stolen car, and you're not getting out of the car. We told you to get out. It doesn't matter. But what am I being detained for? Currently, right? Can I please have my cigarette? No. Nope. Upon searching her, police found drug paraphernalia, further complicating her legal troubles. Who was driving? Uh, his name is James. That's all I know. James. He's giving me all these my my toothpicks. I apologize. Is this like? I don't have anything on me. Where do you pick you up at? On the north side. I was getting a ride though, I'm a passenger. Okay, just come sit. That's a good ride. Additionally, officers reviewed security footage from the scene to confirm the driver's identity and proceed with the arrest. At some point, we'll need the yeah, video guy, yes. of him. Yeah. So did he leave as soon as I pulled up pretty much? All right. Yeah. I got all videos. Uh -huh. Parking lot, backside, inside. Okay. Maybe. What did he look like? He looked like uh, that guy, different. Uh, 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 he purchased, I think, uh, uh, 
chocolate uh, this one uh, chocolate milk mountain dew is that going to be the best of his like face can i can you pause it real quick for me or really snap a picture's close There was also information that the woman had a nationwide warrant and was charged with refusing to disclose personal information, obstructing justice, and possessing drug paraphernalia. What punishment do you think this woman deserves for her offenses? On March 29, 2023, a tense incident occurred at a local store and was recorded by police body cameras. An officer was called to the scene after a woman who was banned from the store due to prior misconduct returned. I used their microwave because he wouldn't let me. What? I talked off the coffee about that much because the gentleman told me to go ahead and I would pay a dime or quarter for it. Patrick ran me out. Did you pay for it? He wouldn't let me. He told me to leave with it or leave the coffee. So I tried to leave it. Offer him a quarter for a little refill. I showed him how much I had when I kind of came in. Five, five, large yeah, team. so. Um, I just heated it up and not going to be trespassing or anything. Well, were you told not to come back yesterday? Uh, yeah, but I'm a customer. I buy gas. And... Well, if you're not allowed to be back, then you're not allowed to be back. Okay. But I know they don't have a trespass card on you. Okay, Otherwise, well. if they did, I could charge you with criminal trespass. I understand. According to the investigation, the woman had used services and consumed drinks at the store without paying. When reminded by store staff, she claimed to be a regular customer who occasionally bought gas there. However, the staff insisted she was banned from returning due to her previous behavior. Let's help with my unit. You're not going to be detained or anything like that right now? No, oh, I can't get in there. My dog's in my car. Yeah, there. no, I'm going to take you over there. I'll walk. Yeah. Can you follow me, sir? All right. I'm afraid. Yes, you're, you're being detained right now. Hold on. Ma'am. 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 I'm going to... Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Ma'am. That's not what we're doing here. Ma'am. Despite the woman's attempts to justify her actions, she could not deceive the police. When the officer explained the legal consequences of trespassing, the woman became defensive and asserted her rights as a customer. Grab no. me either. I'm going to detain you right now. Stop. In, the, in front of all Stop. these people? Yes, I'm going to detain you. You're going to put another bruise on me like no. the boy that retained me the other day? Okay, well, I'm going to detain you right you now. You just told me I didn't have to get in your car. That gentleman heard you walk over there. Okay, well, I don't trust you. Well, you should trust me. I don't have a gun. You got a gun. I'm going to detain you right now, okay? Walk with me. Walk with me. I don't, I, want to make I this don't a bigger trust issue. you. Let go of okay. me, okay. officer. No! I don't want to make this big an issue. Okay? No! I didn't. You tell me what I did wrong. You tell me what I did wrong. Stop. If you do anything, it's going to be addressed. The situation worsened when the officer decided to detain the woman. She resisted fiercely, continually questioning the reasons for her arrest and accusing the officer of abuse. Stop. Now what you want? Get off me, you're hurting my chest. You said I could walk across the street and I wasn't doing anything wrong. Well you were being detained. You know my dog from my car? Thank you, sir, for watching this. You told me I could walk across the Walk to my unit. No. I'm going to put you in the ref. Do you want to be put in the ref? You already did. I'm bleeding. All right, get in the car. Ask for help if you can't get handle me. Car. I didn't know what he said. Get in the car. All right, I'm getting in. Right out of Stop. jail. You're going down. Get put my hat. In the car. I'll get pick it my up for hat. I'll get it up. I wish you would stop. 
Despite the police's efforts to explain and remain calm, the woman continued to resist, leading to her arrest. A wildly circulated video capturing the chaotic arrest in Miami, Florida on December 12, 2022 has garnered public attention. The suspect is a woman who was drunk and causing a public disturbance. The video shows the woman continuously expressing disbelief and frustration over her arrest. She demanded to speak to her father and claimed she was being treated unfairly. Can you call? We're gonna go. We're gonna go home. I know. I did go. I'm not doing this shit. This is ratchet. Get the fuck off of me. You're manhandling me, bro. Get the fuck off me. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? You're manhandling me. Yo, shorty, chill before you arrest me. That's a cop. Chill me. Babe, babe, babe. Please stop. Please stop. I'm not even. Paul. Paul. You guys fucking manhandling me right now. Nicole. You're chill. Kiana, we have to talk about this. Shut the fuck up. Are you crazy? You understand? You call, babe. You need to this shut up. This is crazy. Up. I'm not shutting the fuck up for nobody. Hey, where's the elevator? Are you crazy? The elevator. No, mom, you don't have to give me a call. I'm on. I was upset. For an old lady, I was upset. Get my shoes. Get my shoes. The situation escalated when the woman accused an officer of spitting in her face. This led to a heated exchange and her increasingly erratic behavior. Relax. Stop. Relax, bro. Yo, why are you holding? You spit in my face. Yo, you're f literally being. Get up. This guy is so rude. Get up. Yo. I've never been handled like this in my life. Call. Take my phone. Take my phone. Call my father now. Now. Jet. Now. During the arrest, the woman alternated between being defiant and aggressive and pleading for help and asserting her innocence. Come on, stand and up. you know what? Stand You're up. actually stand up. Yo, don't touch me like that. Stand up. I don't want you touching me. Somebody else can help me stand up. Huh? Right. Somebody else. Uh, I'll stand up. I'll Thank just you. walk you down a little bit. I he was a little. All right, let's go, go downstairs. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm a chill ass person. You were very rude. No fuck say this guy like that. You were very rude and very aggressive. If you're going through something, it's fine. I can respect you that. You can <clears throat> all you want, but you were very aggressive to a woman for no reason. I was not mean to you. Nothing. Paul. Paul. No, don't play me like Diana because now we're going to have problems. I'm God. I'm my father. We're going to have problems. I swear to God. Look at me. Look me in my eyes. Hey, come on, come out. We're gonna have problems. It's necessary because I don't know what the f I'm talking about. Is it what? The incident ended with a moment of helplessness and despair as she was taken into custody. A bizarre incident was caught on camera during a routine traffic stop in Marion County on April 9, 2024. The incident began when Marion County Police conducted a traffic stop for speeding. As the police approached the vehicle, they identified the driver as an 18-year-old woman who tried to evade and refused to cooperate. Hello, I'm Deputy Becky with the Marion County Sheriff's Office. The reason I'm stopping you is because I got you at 68. You got your driver's license, registration, group of insurance? You don't have a driver's license? Why are you driving and getting a license? You don't know? Anybody got a driver's license? No one's got a driver's license? No? Okay. Do you have any ID? No ID? Okay. Initially, she refused to provide identification and her identity. Despite continuous efforts by the police to obtain basic information, she remained defiant and hesitant. What's your, what's your first name? You don't know what your first name is? You don't know? Okay. How about? Please start. I 
asesinando. Stand back here. You don't know your name? If I give you a minute, I sit down. Bro, you're already going. Might as well just tell them. They're going to tell me exactly. They're going to figure it out. Them, I can't. What if I'm going to get in a motorcycle? Why don't you want to give us your name? Because I already know I just want to go for a lot of exchange. So, what does that mean? Do you have a warrant? No, no. But I thought. Um, why, why are you worried about. So, you're going to refuse to give us your name. If you don't have a warrant, you're going to refuse to give us your name to get in more trouble. To be put in handcuffs just because you went to court for a bunch of shit is what you're telling me? Oh my god. This is uh, a. Can you go? No, I'm not gonna let you go. You can okay. Stop. Whose car is this? It's your car? It's her people's car? Okay. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna have you guys step out, but I'm gonna come around to that side and all that stuff. Just do me a favor and put your hands on the headrest and your hands on the dashboard, please. The situation became more tense when the passenger, identified as the driver's boyfriend, also exited the vehicle and refused to cooperate with the police. The refusal of both individuals to provide basic information led to their temporary detention, complicating the situation further. Go ahead, for me first. You anything on you? No, uh, no, sir. No? Okay. Just face the car. Yeah, Leave your vape on the top of the hood There's a tray right next to you. That usually people are breaking up weed with. Right now you're the thing, right? We're all motorcyclists, so I can't just throw you in the back of the car. And right here in this facing car coming right there. Would you just move? Just you jacking your vape? Okay. Do you have anything with you right here? All right. All right. So I want you to leave your vape here and your phone right here. She's requesting for the male half to be vaporized. Advise that he would possibly run or be violent with Leo. The police tried to explain that if they were honest about their situation, leniency would be more likely, especially given the minor nature of the offense. Jim Miranda White writes, you have the right main sign on anything you can... Why didn't you just tell me your name? Because I feel like y'all was going to take me away. Why was that? Because if y'all... I don't know. Because I'm going to be dead honest with you right now. And I mean, I'm completely transparent with you. If you had told me who you were and told me that you were honest with me about the weed, 90% of the time you're going to get a break, all right? Whether it's a court date and you get to go on your way, but now you're sitting in the back of a car because you wanted to be the way that you were. You know what I'm saying? For, it's misdemeanor amount of weed. And if you don't got a license, then that's a misdemeanor too. I had not too long ago. I had a warrant for situation here. So you think you have a warrant? I got put on. No, I went. I got. I got turned myself in. Uh -huh. Over there, I got put on probation. Are you on probation right now? No, but it's gonna start tomorrow. Oh, it starts tomorrow. Okay. I see where you're coming from then. So, um, just give me a minute. I'm gonna go talk to her real quick. Who's she? Do you just a friend? That's, that's my baby daddy. Okay. That's his girl. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Just give me a second, okay? All right, I'm gonna read you something real quick, okay? Now I don't arrest right this second. You're the right base on. Did she just pick you up? Yeah, we literally went and got gas, and we're going to go pick up the babies from oh. school. Okay. And they're gonna stay with us because he has work. All right. Um, I'm just gonna confirm some of your guys' information. You and your is that your boyfriend? You and your boyfriend are gonna be cut loose, but we gotta tow the car. Okay. So Can we get the diaper bag and my base and my phone and stuff. In a minute, I gotta get some stuff out of the car first. Okay. All right. However, their non-cooperation made resolving the issue more difficult and led to unnecessary tension. Eventually, after their identities were confirmed, both individuals were released with the warning. What do you think about the police's decision to forgive their offenses? Share your opinion in the comments. Next, I will report on a notable incident that recently occurred in southern Michigan. On a recent evening, a tense situation unfolded between a woman and a traffic police officer when she was pulled over for speeding. The incident began when a traffic police asked the female driver to stop because she was driving at 45 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour zone. Well, you went about 45 down um down Clark Road, and it's no, 25 long there. Actually, I had my cruise control on. I was actually going 28 miles an hour, three miles an hour over speed limit, which is 25 miles an hour down that road. All right, do you have your and driver's license and your insurance Actually, you actually can't ask for that because I turned off my vehicle before you were able to pull me over. Do you have your, no, I mean. I do not, no. Yeah. Nope. 
sorry, I'm already home. My car is, my vehicle is turned off before you were able to pull me over. Like, you cannot ask for that. I'm going inside. I'm going to bed. You are not going inside. I am going inside and I am going to bed. If you want to ask for your um, deputy or sh whoever's in charge, that's fine. However, she insisted she was only driving 28 miles per hour and her car had stopped before the police turned on their lights. I literally came from... Has it been since you had your last drink? Um, I don't know what time it is now because I uh, left my phone at her house. Um, but I stopped drinking at exactly 11 o'clock. So okay, it's three o'clock If now. I'm exactly, so it should be at least four hours. I made sure I stopped. I have two children that are under the age of five. Um, so I'm <coughs> fully aware of my what's going on. I also just had a UI not too long ago. So okay. like I said, I'm fully aware of what's going on. I know the situation, and like I said. When the officer asked for her driver's license and insurance, the woman refused to provide the information. She continuously asserted her legal rights and demanded to see the officer's superior. Well, let me, let me do this for me. I'm not, no, I'm not doing, I'm not doing any field sobriety tests. I'm not doing anything. I'm already home. I'm going inside. If you want anything, we can take it to court. But like I said, I'm not doing anything. You pulled over a vehicle that was already parked. If you want to take this to court, that is fine. But okay, you well, are going to look like okay, a fool. I tell you when what, here's what's going to happen. When we pull up your here's camera. I need your driver's no, license. No, listen, when we pull up your camera and it shows that my car is already parked. I need your driver's license You're not getting, no, papers. you're not. I know my rights. I know my rights. You can't pull over a vehicle that is already parked and turned off. She even admitted to drinking alcohol before driving and having been previously arrested for DUI. I need your driver's license you right now. Not, you do not need anything. I know my rights. I know my rights. You can't hey, pull over. You're, you're under arrest. Right no, now. I'm not. No, wait. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Talk about this. We're trying like, to talk no, about this. No, We're trying this to talk is, this. You're physically hurting me. Just For what? Me. No, let me call my mom because this is, hey, this is illegal. Okay. That's fine. I will give you my paper. I don't even have a you driver's license. Old, I have a paper this? and I will give it to you. But like hey, I said, I will take this to court. That's my fine. car is already parked. Okay. You cannot arrest. You cannot pull me over. You cannot ticket me because my car is parked. I will pull out my paper. Paper if you okay. want to. And you're placed under arrest and you're I'm and not under arrest though. I'm to... not under arrest. Okay, that's not up. No, that is up to me oh. because my car was parked. You can't arrest somebody okay. when my car is, I'm already home. <clears throat> my car is Are parked. Are you going to listen His to what life, the officer has I, to say? Like I yes said, or no? yes. Okay. I will gladly so I think pull it, up my I think paper. It would be a good decision but there's to nothing you guys can okay, do. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Point, like I said, I will cooperate. Okay. I'll give you my paper. Okay, I'll do whatever just, you need me to do. But like I said, there's nothing that okay. can be done right now. A few hours later. Okay, and April. I will not be manhandled. Okay, I will April. not be manhandled. April. That is traumatizing April. for me. That's fine. I need your driver's license if you want to go in and get it. I will give you whatever you need to give me, but and as long as I, we can I, understand and that gonna like, you're not going to make sure that you're okay to be driving. I'm not even driving. You pulled over a car that was parked. Some field tests. That's, no, like I said, I'm not doing any field tests because like I said, I know my rights. I will call my lawyer if I need to mm -hmm. right now off of my other phone because I'm not doing this. The situation became more tense when the woman refused to take a field sobriety test, insisting she had already reached home and her car was off. Okay, well, you're under arrest for drunk driving. Okay, well then give me the blow test. Give me the blow test. You're not going to fucking manhandle me. I told you I've been... You should have thought of that earlier. I will take the breath okay, test. Well, you just said let you it go on me. So That's wouldn't. fine, it's but let go on me. Put. It's not a game. I yes, told I you. I literally just went through. Please don't touch me like that. Take a good breath, make a tight seal, blow long and hard until I say stop. Let's go. Take in a good breath, make a tight seal on tube, and blow hard until I say stop. Just give me a second, please. You just traumatize me again. Like, I need a minute. Blow it. Harder, 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 harder. Keep going, keep going. Got to have more volume. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm not sure I got enough volume on that. Right. You are under arrest for drunk driving. Why? When my vehicle is already parked? Moreover, she accused the police of being rough and violating her personal rights. After conducting a breathalyzer test, the woman was charged with DUI. She will have to face the appropriate punishment for her offense. I bring you a story that took place on February 15, 2024 when law enforcement of Charlotte County Airport was called to handle a disruptive situation. A woman found herself in trouble after a series of events that began on her incoming flight. You don't mean me. I'm not being mean. Yeah. I just said, no. yeah, no, I mean. okay. Here, come with me. 
We're gonna go that way. You have a driver's license? Not to now. Do you see it? But I would like you to tell me why. I will. I'll explain it to you. I'm just talking to apply, but bullshit. All right, come on. Come on. You're uh, you're in a secure area. Come on. The incident started with the woman becoming unruly throughout the flight. Upon landing, a sergeant from the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office intervened. I'm Sergeant Marshall. I work for the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office. And what is the problem? No, no, I know. Sir, that way. Dougie? That way. Go. You started it. Go. Is this your husband? Yeah. Okay. Let me have your ID. Hey, you, you can go ahead. No, not until you tell okay. me. Okay, listen, I'm what going to arrest problem? you if you don't give me your ID. You have Plain no right. Simple. No right. Yes. Listen, I don't care. I didn't give you the drinks. I'm, I'm not drunk. Uh, Marcy, uh, no. Give him your no. ID. Give me your ID. Marcy, no. just give me your ID or go home. Let's go. Come on. Despite multiple efforts to calm the situation, the woman refused to cooperate repeatedly denying that she was intoxicated and becoming increasingly confrontational. This doesn't have to be that hard. I just need your information. Exactly right. Are you her, his, what's her name? Marcy. Spell her first name. No. M-A-R-C-Y. Wait. Hey. Go. Stop. Stop it. No. Arrest me. I may. I welcome it. I may. Don't touch me. I welcome it. Do not touch me. You know why I welcome it? Because I have it all on video. What's her first name? Marcy. Spell it. M-A-R-C-Y. M-A-R-C what? Why? Footage from the scene shows the woman having a heated argument with the officer, adamantly refusing to provide identification and repeatedly demanding to smoke. Her continual defiance and refusal to comply with basic requests quickly escalated the issue. Ma'am, ma'am. Stop it. Stop. You know what? I've been waiting for Stop. five Stop. hours to have a cigarette. Stop. Arrest me. Stop. Arrest me. Stop. Stop it. Stop. No. As soon as we it get... all started as from soon, you. Hey, from me, what? Your mouth. As soon as oh, we get... What? Ma'am, as soon as we get this over with, you'll be able to go get your stuff and yeah. you'll be able to leave. We'll go home. Marcy, if, if I don't me, even care. Give me your ID. No, Mr. I'm Marshall, not. Just, just Sorry, because cause. you know what? Oh, it's that? A legion. What? Are a you legion guys live in Florida? Overserved his oh, that's ass fine. all night. That's fine. Not that's mine. fine. That's fine. His. Do you, do you live in Florida? No. We no. Live in Michigan. Okay. Despite her claims of not being intoxicated, her behavior suggested otherwise. Her insistence on smoking and her agitated state only exasperated the tension. Marcy, no, come here. Take Just me in. leave her be. Okay, good. Take her in. I, I, Give me your ID. No, take me in. You have no okay, right. Put your stuff down. You have put no your right. Stuff down. Turn around. That, that's a, Turn around. Good deal, Marcy. You're an asshole. You're under arrest. Yep. You didn't even tell me what the problem was. I, I explained to no, you three you or four different no, you times. Didn't. You never said you're, what the problem was. They are complaining that you're drunk and disorderly. Oh, they served me. Okay, I get that they served you. I hope you're happy. 300 Central. I'm going to have a white female under arrest yep. here at the airport. Can you have the unit meet me here? When asked to calm down and cooperate, the woman challenged the officers, accepting the arrest, and accused them of mishandling the situation. Ultimately, as the woman continued to resist and argue, the police decided to arrest her for disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. Furthermore, her furious words included threats to sue the airline for over-serving alcohol and the arresting officer for their handling of her case. The arrest of a drunk and disorderly female customer at a South Florida restaurant escalated when she resisted the police. The incident occurred at a restaurant in South Florida where a sudden disturbance caught the attention of the police. A woman who was believed to have consumed a lot of alcohol was out of control, causing a scene and overwhelming the restaurant staff. Do you want a dress pass? Or... She's, being, she's being polite. She's wanting to smoke out. Uh, I'm not going to make a big deal. All right. Yes. Call my bluff and said I'm not moving at all. <laughs> Give me one sec. Hello. You all right? Sort of leaning with your head back. You have a little too much to drink? Morgan! Did you have a little too much to drink tonight? you have an ID on you or anything like that? Okay, can I see it please? Yeah. Okay. 
When the police arrived at the scene, they tried to assist the woman politely and gently. However, instead of cooperating, she became aggressive, resistant, and even verbally abused the restaurant staff and police officers. All right, I'm going to go walk outside. You have to leave. Like, now. That makes it better for you. Yeah. He's telling you. Oh, I don't know. I get that. It's not an option. What I'm asking. Yeah, no, no. I'm just so excited for the. As he just told you, you have to leave. So either you get up and we walk with you and help you walk out, or we pick you up, make you leave, and then you gotta go to jail. Oh, oh, no, no, no. You're missing the part where you're like, yeah. yeah. Listen, we're not going to make a big deal out of this. They don't want to make a big deal out of it. All you have to do is leave. Who did you come here with? Did you come by yourself or did you come with friends, boyfriend, something like that? Do you have any friends with you? Why won't you get up? <laughs> you want to go out the back? Does that make it easier for you? No. Huh? Huh? Anything you want to all right, let's just go walk out the front then. Her uncontrollable and disrespectful behavior complicated the situation, forcing the police to use stronger measures to restrain and take her to the station. This is the last time I'm asking you before we go. Excuse me, sir. I also put you in handcuffs. I don't give a shit about what you're Well, I'm done with that game. You can get up. Uh, you're gonna go in handcuffs. Okay. Just put her in cuffs. Okay. For what reason? Excuse me. For what reason? For what reason? No. For what reason? Please tell me. For you're being, what reason? You're being placed for what reason? For what reason? For a no check Oh my goodness. Do you have any weapons yeah. on you before you go to jail? No. Are you kidding? That's going to be battery on a law enforcement Are officer. Are you kidding? Actually, me. Jesus. At the police station, she continued to resist and refused to disclose her identity. Consequently, she was charged with resisting arrest and could face a fine of up to $1,000 or even a year in jail. On September 23, 2023, during a child's birthday party, a heated conflict occurred necessitating police intervention. According to reports, the conflict began when an adult man attempted to drive after consuming too much alcohol. Concerned friends tried to stop him, leading to a brawl. It's really nothing serious. We're not together, but we are together because we're all in the same party. But no, I'm going to stay right here. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I also work here too. Don't put your hands on me. Come on. Listen, don't put your hands on me. No, 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 no. You don't tell me no. I'll talk to you. I will talk to you. There is no problem. There was a little family feud, so he's just trying to get out of here. But we're going to bring him home. That's it. And right now, all this is nothing. It's his daughter in law. Right now, you guys. Upon arrival, police found multiple people involved in the altercation. The situation quickly deteriorated as police tried to control the scene, resulting in resistance from the suspects and confusion among the party guests. No, I'm gonna record it. No, this. I got it. No, no, this. Why? Why are you putting your hands on me? Why are you putting your hands on me? Why are you putting your hands on me? No, I'm not putting your hands on me. 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 No, I'm not putting
altercation involved the man and a woman, both of whom were subsequently arrested. The man was arrested with simple assault, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. The woman faced charges of disorderly conduct and resisting arrest as well. I had nothing to do with none of this. Away now. Should listen. Because I walked away? Because I was walking away from the situation? Are you kidding me? Because I was walking away? I was walking away. Get back! Can you give me some fucking shit? Get back! Get back. Get back. I had nothing to do with it. That's the thing. That's why you're fucking back up. Listen. Back up. Listen. Listen. Back listen. Back I don't have to listen. Back it's not my up. business. I walked away because I worked here. Look at me. I was walking away because I worked here. You're not listening. I know you. I know. I know you hear me, man. I'm looking at this. Yeah, but bro, I don't. Can you grab this? Get in there. Just cooperate. That's fine. Norman, cooperate. I hear you. You said they're arresting me. I understand. My kids are here. I have your kids. Yo, this is. It's so. Witnesses reported that the initial cause of the chaos was a disagreement over party decorations placed in the intoxicated man's car. So I just got here, so I'm, I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> this is all because of this man right here. Oh, what happened? What did he do? He tried to drive away. He tried fighting people. He is intoxicated. He should not be driving. And then my friends got involved to try and stop him from driving, and they are the ones being arrested. We are here celebrating my daughter's fifth birthday party. Five. Okay. She's five years old. He had too much to drink. He should not be driving. This all lays on it this man matter. right here. Okay. Do not let him he drive. Told me that. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm just talking to you guys. I'm not. My sergeant's on the way too, so I just got here. This is this, this man cannot okay. drive. Okay. This is all on him. Yeah. So who I is he like, to you guys? Just uh, do you know him? This is my mom's boyfriend. Okay. He's had too much to drink, and he tried to drive away, and my friend Norman, who's in the back seat of that car, tried to stop him. Okay. The situation escalated when he began assaulting several guests, including grabbing one person by the neck. This demonstrated the man's wrongful behavior. With these offenses, do you think these two individuals deserve to be punished? If you agree, please like this video. Today's story revolves around a worrying incident involving a woman who was arrested for drunk driving after being found asleep at the wheel. On January 24, 2023, police officers received reports about a vehicle repeatedly running red lights. When they arrived at the scene, they found the driver, a woman, asleep behind the wheel. The officers attempted to wake her up. Can you unlock the door for me? The door is open. I can't. I'm trying to get. Okay, you've been at this light since uh, a couple is, of cycles now. Yeah, but the door is open. Look. Hold on. I can't even back Put the up. car in park. Put the car in park. I did. I'm putting it in reverse now. No, park. Park, reverse. Park, reverse. I did. Driver's license? Yeah, but I, my reverse license, my reverse park is right here. That's what I was telling you. Reverse park? No, my reverse is right here. Park and reverse. But in order for me to put my car in reverse, I have to do like this. Hey, you don't want to put it in reverse. Okay. The rest over. You, no, you told me to put it in reverse and I did like that. I have to put, put it in park. Don't put it in no, it park is parked like this and reverse is this way. Okay, well, we'll get another officer coming over here to see if you're uh... safe to drive. I am. Uh... The situation became more tense as the police suspected the woman was drunk. Although she denied drinking and refused to take a breathalyzer test, she was still asked to step out of the car to perform field sobriety tests. How much have you had a drink tonight? None. Can you please stop that? You had none to drink? 
Nothing at all? Are you sure? Dick. Can you please stop that? Stop what? Stop what? I mean, it's off now. I'm just going to scoot back down there. Are you willing to talk to me at all? I am, but can you please stop that stop, right now? Stop what? Am I going am, am to stop I'm having a light in the car? No, I'm not. What's that? Are you willing to do any field sobriety tests for us? The no to field sobriety. Is that no? Yeah. Alright, step out of the car. Right this time you are under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol. You are under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol. Throughout the interaction, the woman appeared confused and resistant. She continuously questioned the officer's instructions and even accused them of inappropriate behavior. I just wanted to read this to you. This is the implied consent notice for suspects age 21 or over. The state of Georgia has conditioned your privilege to drive upon the highways of this state. Upon your submission, the state must do chemical tests of your blood, breath, urine, or other. Do not pull away from me again. Back up! Don't pull away from me. Honey, I'm not pulling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna pull up on Do up, not, up. do not pull, pull away from huh? me. Which car you Shut your dumb ass up! State of Georgia has conditioned your privilege to drive. I pulled up on my car because I have to pee. Weirdo! You weirdo ass nigga! Stay charged against the condition of your privilege to drive upon the highways of the state. Why your submission? I'm not even doing nothing. Of your blood, like, breath, urine, or other violent substances. But I feel like you, you, you did that because you haven't had sex in a long time. If you refuse this testing, your Georgia driver's license is a privilege to drive upon the highways of the state. What's that? I got another one. I got you. However, based on her failure in the tests, she was arrested and her car was impounded. Next, join me for the case involving a crazy woman attacking the police. Officers from the Clearwater PD were called to a scene where a woman was attacking other patrons at a bar. Upon arrival, officers asked the woman for identification to verify her identity. What's going on? I'm moving on. Nice do you have ID on you? Yeah, what happened to Jammins? I don't know. They told me to leave, and I did. It's a little bit more than that. Well, I no, see they were with me. Yeah, they were with me, and they know that I left when they okay. asked me to leave. Well, dude, dude, honestly, you can say, ask them. I seen dude grab her. Yeah, so that's that, the first thing I said. Fuck you, dude. That's why we're getting out of here. Hey, dude, like what, dude? I don't, He's a black dude. Don't put your hands on me. Okay, I'm talking about like a security guard or a security guard. How did he put his hands on her? Because he didn't realize. What do you mean? Grabbed him by the fucking neck. Why? I mean, why? why? And then next thing you know, she got okay, grabbed by the police. The thing is, is I, uh, a man apparently wanted me to leave this facility. Okay. I didn't understand it at first, but I did after he had aggressive assault on me. You know what I'm saying? And I left the situation, so I don't even understand why we're talking right now, man. Because that's not the story that I got. During the investigation, the woman claimed she had left the area when asked and did not understand why the police were detaining her. Well, we're going to figure it out. Okay, can I go home? Nope. But it's cool. Hey, if anything happens, I'll be cool. Right now, you're being detained. Cool. Hey. So you can't go anywhere. What's a good phone number for you, man? Why am I being detained? For what? For disorderly conduct. For what? I haven't done anything. Okay, I'm, I'm telling I'm you right now, disorderly conduct, you're being detained. So you're going to arrest me. I'm just no, saying you're being detained. It doesn't mean you're under arrest. It doesn't mean you're under arrest, but it means I'm investigating a crime. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. okay. I, ju I didn't so, know the, yeah. the technical. Yeah, it doesn't mean you're under arrest, but you're not free to leave. Oh, okay. Well, I'll stay right here. Of course, you got to talk to him because something yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right. Can I get uh, 173 over I here? I mean, I'm completely fine. I'm going to go with my friends here, and we're going to go have a good time. Okay. I, I don't need to associate with that bar. Okay. However, witnesses at the scene and video footage showed the woman had assaulted the security and police officers including using offensive language and even physical attacks. I tried to avoid it, but when she came back, like, when I did jump over the wall, getting on, then I came back down there, and I was about to go there, she came, and she kicked her whole through that, and she just come and she just hit me. Hit me out, like, held her. Like, yo, what are you doing pushing away from me? Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? You don't even know me. Right. And then I dropped her, I got her, and then I dropped her, and she just came back, started attacking me, slapping me, hitting me for keys, and I'm, like, pushing her away, yeah. and, like, 
some whoever that was in front of the group came on, oh, that's kicking on me. Like, right. You want to you wanna press charges on her? Yeah. Okay. These pieces of evidence reveal the truth and exposed all her lies. We got a call about you. That's why. I bet they yeah. did. I bet they did, you know, right? Video, though? Who? Y'all might got called, but did y'all see things? What happened? Island? Right. Who are you? Any kid, did, did the person calling you Witnesses. know what happened? I'm a know what went what down? I'm a witness. <laughs> you're prosecuting me on false pretense, and my friends witness, are defending so me, and you're getting upset. I'm prosecuting. No, no, you ain't. No, you it's cool. Hey. I literally just got out of my hey, car. Hey, he's not doing. Right. He's not prosecuting. Technicalities, right? It's not a technicality. Just being, I just got out of my car. He's just being. No, he's just being detained at school. They just want to talk. Given her unlawful action, the police decided to detain her for further investigation. During detention. The woman continued to resist and insult the officers. Stop. Stop pulling on. Am I doing Nope. Oh. 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 I complied. Oh. Not anymore. Why? Right, grab the other one. Why am I getting arrested? Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? No, I'm not. You fing arrest me for no reason. Dude, call my lawyer. I'm getting the. They're, re they're recording me right now. Yeah, I'm recording you too. For what? Sit down. What did um, I do? This might be a little too loose. So, what did I do? What did I do? Disorderly conduct in a restaurant. No, I didn't. I fing was walking away. How do I have disorderly conduct? I was walking away. Turn around. You don't even have a charge. Door. You don't even have a fing charge. Hey. At the end of the investigation, she was arrested on multiple charges, including public disturbance, resisting arrest, and assaulting police officers. For these offenses, she would be fined between $500 and $1,000, or even face up to one year in jail. In a recent incident re recorded on video, a woman caused significant commotion by smashing the windows of several vehicles. You okay, bro? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Thank you. I have a face and chest. It's been on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got the report from my wife, my fiance, sir. Uh, I oh, am okay. Well, they, get, the they down there taking a report from another. Oh, okay. He's down there. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. but okay. I just wanted to make sure it was the girl who I knew that was in front okay. of our house. Yeah, yeah that's all it was. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was trying to tell him so because they had she been hanging around it for a couple hours yeah. tonight. During the incident, several witnesses provided information to the police about the extent of the damage and the woman's identity. One witness reported that the suspect had been loitering in the area for hours. The incident, the damage included bent license plates and broken windshield wipers. There's a small little break right here. Can you guys uh, maybe move over to the side? I'm going to take some pictures. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Did she do this or no? Oh, she. She tried busting the plate on it. She did. She like bent it up. So that all happened just now. Oh, it broke up. Yeah, the windshield wipers broke and the plate like is bent up. Well, look at it. The license plate is all bent up and the white windshield wipers ripped up. Can you ask him? Why is she not giving her information? We, didn't, yeah. we weren't able to. I mean, she was literally fighting and screaming the whole time. So. When the police arrived and ordered her to stop, she attempted to flee. After a short chase, the police apprehended the suspect, but she strongly resisted and demanded her rights to avoid detention. Of course. Okay. And stop screaming at him. Sir, do you want help? No, he doesn't. I'm not asking you. Stay here so I can speak with you. Go stand by my car, please, if you want assistance. She just busted a window in the car, I'm trying to tell you. For what? Can you get out of the street? Get out of the street. Ma'am. Stay here, please. Yeah, Talk to my out. partner. Can you talk to him? Ma'am, do you want help? No, 
Ma'am, stop. I need to talk to you. I don't care, I need to talk to you. Yeah, you do. Well, can you just tell me what's up with him? You need to stop. Right here. As the situation escalated, the police faced difficulties in restraining the woman due to her constant resistance, shouting about her rights, and even citing anxiety as an excuse for not complying with orders. That's against the law! Relax. Stop. Stop. No, I have to Stop. Stop. I have anxiety. It's Stop. against the rule. I, it's against the rule. I ain't got no I have, I have paperwork. I have okay, paperwork. Okay, okay. I have paperwork. Okay. Ask queen. Ask queen. I have paperwork. I have queen. I have paperwork. Stop resisting. I have queen. I don't care. I'm not suing you. I'm suing you. As soon as I get in here, I'm suing you. I'm not fing you. You are under arrest for people. Stop. Stop. Amidst the chaos, she threatened to sue the police and continuously claimed that her actions were legally protected despite clear violations. Come on. <laughs> Get my stuff! As a result, the woman was arrested and faced three serious charges, assaulting an officer, causing property damage, and resisting arrest. She was later released on bail after posting $150,000. The incident occurred on November 28, 2023, when authorities conducted a routine traffic stop for a vehicle without signal lights before turning. Upon approaching the driver, later identified as Vanessa, the police also detected signs of alcohol intoxication. Hi. Hey, I'm Vanessa. Are you fucking I am. Huh? No, I'm sorry. No, what are you guys, sorry. What are you guys doing here? No, no, I live. I live right here. Don't do this to me. No, I live right here. I'm not going to drive anywhere. I'm just trying to get the fuck. Okay. Uh, just, you know, you got to. I'm sorry? No. No, no, not here. I saw you. I saw you guys driving in, so I want to make sure everything's okay. No, that's okay. my house. Okay. Do you have an ID with you? Yeah. Central uh, 301. Can you start me a call too, please? Despite the police's efforts to assess her sobriety level and ensure Vanessa's safety, her behavior became increasingly erratic. No, I'm just asking where you guys coming from because I did see you guys pull in here earlier. So I just wanted again, we see a car with two people in it at one in the morning we got to make sure everything's okay you know no we're okay we just wanted to see you like pull up and like Cars. look at the video gotcha. okay i'm a business woman so i have a lot of ideas with me if you don't mind me just pull out pulling out of like these with me okay what do you do no no hold on. i don't give a f about your woman so i'm a yeah that's good you don't uh, have your id or anything we're trying to figure out well. Okay, look, so you can have this. Throughout the inspection, the woman repeatedly claimed innocence and being sober, even presenting several identification cards to prove her identity. However, her expressions and actions raised suspicions among the officers. How much have you had a drink today? Nothing. I can clearly smell it. No, you can't. So how much have you had a drink tonight? I've, I, I didn't. Can, I, can smell I mean, you, you And saw clearly that? your friend said that you were drunk. I just the moment I came up, my cats. the moment I came up, you said you had some. That he said that you were drunk as hell. I was sitting at the parking lot. I saw you guys pull turn right from near Where were you coming up from? I was at the parking lot, right there parking by the train station. Where? Right across from here. Across from where? Do you, where we're at, across the street. I've been trying to work with you, and I'm asking That's you nicely. Okay. Doesn't look like you want to work with me. No, I didn't. No. I mean, you said you didn't have anything to drink, right? I just don't give you anything. 
to work with. This is so crazy because this has never happened to me, and I feel like just because I'm a Latina, it's happening to me. Moreover, she attempted to bribe the police further convincing them of her intoxication, despite Vanessa's insistence that she was not drunk. Her slurred speech and the smell of alcohol emanating from her did not persuade the officers. You said you had nothing to drink tonight, right? Yeah. Are you willing to perform some exercises to show me that you haven't had, that you are not impaired, that you have nothing to drink tonight, that you're okay to drive? I clearly saw you driving. You're in a driver's seat. Your friend says he wasn't driving. What I don't want to do is have you out here in the cold, right? What we could do, you're not under arrest. You can go in my squad car. We can go to the train depot where it's nice and warm. Put you through the exercises. If you show no signs of impairment, I'll bring you back. You go home. As the situation escalated, the woman's interaction with the officers became confrontational with racially discriminatory remarks and defiance of arrest orders. These actions led to Vanessa's arrest. It's no longer I'm asking you to. So it's like yes or no. It's I'm ordering you to step out. Yeah. Yeah. It's an order. And I'll tell you exactly why once you step out. Once I step out. Yep. Vanessa, if you don't get out of the car, we're going to have to remove you from the car, and I'd really like to not do that. Okay. So we're going to go in front of my car. With the front facing camera. No. I'm going to put myself right there. Where are you? Please don't do that. <laughs> hey, what do I do? There's nothing in there. If I find anything in there afterwards, it's going to belong to you, okay? At the police station, the woman exhibited bizarre behavior akin to someone mentally unstable. Take me to jail. Take me to jail. Stop. Take me to jail right now. She spit. She spit. She spit. So that's going to be an extra charge. I know. Okay. Take it. Two, because you did take, take me it. too. Thank you. Oh, I kicked you? I oh. On camera. Well, take me. I just want you to take me so yeah. bad. I knew it. Oh, I just want him to take me. She just spit at my face right now and kicked me in the squat car. So just so you know. I just want to. Don't spit. I'm going to piss myself. Okay, I'm going to use the back of my hand. Leave your shirt on, Vanessa. I'm going to let you use the bathroom. Back there. So you can put your shirt on. Can I see your hand, please? You want to use the bathroom? Yeah? Okay. Put your shirt on, go we'll use the bathroom, and then come back out, okay? Right, so the only reason I was closing this, Vanessa, is to give you privacy. That's it. I wasn't going to close it all the way, just to give you another layer of privacy. That's all. Okay. I'm going to give you the respect that you deserve and that. I give you that privacy. We can't close it out. Uh, uh, Vanessa, put your shirt on, please. <laughs> she was charged with driving under the influence, failure to signal, serious assault, and resisting arrest. Do you think the officers handled this incident very politely and professionally? If you agree, give them a like. Do you think she regrets not complying with police's request to sit on the porch? If you enjoy educational content in today's video, please subscribe to my channel. I will continuously update the most interesting videos for you. Thank you and see you in the next video.